Okay, and you need to handle those other notations about print soap where the employees working at, that's handling the food, carrying food, making the drinks. You need to handle that. Todd, you know, because Candy got a lot of stuff going. Todd, handle that. Handle that. Damn. What do you do, y'all? This is your girl, Sajay Craziness, and I'm coming to you, 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 and you with another Word on the Street segment. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. So, we got Miss Candy, and we need to give a round of applause, baby, and make that, drop it to the floor, make that round of applause, baby, and make that. Okay, if y'all know that song by Waka Flocka, Wale, and I forgot the other dude name. But, yes, y'all read the title. Candy and Todd, we got to, you know, include him. They finally got an A on their restaurant inspection. And I'm like, it's been a long time coming. <laughs> long time coming. So Radar Online, they got the scoop on the um, info about how she managed to pull this off. Because not too long ago, you know, she had like a pew pew up there at the Blaze restaurant with two co-workers going at it and one of them got shot in the arm so it ain't been no good thing at the blaze or hell even olg but she making a comeback so like i said round of applause so let's get into the story okay so it says real housewives of atlanta star candy and her husband they love just putting that out though todd tucker's restaurant in atlanta has received a glowing health score nearly two years after they were forced to voluntarily shut down after failing a health inspection. Candy and Ty on Blaze and another set of restaurants called, okay, we already know all of that. Get into how she got this A. <laughs> However, according to official records obtained by Radar Online, Candy and Ty's Blaze has finally received an A rating and the last inspection with well, the latest inspection my bad went down on january the 10th so it's recent y'all it's recent victor gave blaze a score of 91 out of 100 after reviewing the location one issue noted in the report read observe two employees prepping food with no hair restraint mm. we just let hair follicles just fall off in the food but you know i can't even pin that on just candy restaurant because other fast food not just even restaurants but fast food be seeing them when you drive up to the drive through window and they ain't got sometimes ain't got no hair net ain't got no gloves so eat at your own risk that's what i'm saying eat at establishments at your own risk so it says cfsm instructed both employees to put on a hair restraint and wash hands then return to work. And Candy know she need to be on that anyway. Hell, Todd need to be on that. Do y'all know? Y'all need to make sure y'all be on y'all P's and Q's because we might got an inspection coming up. And you need to follow the rules. Okay, we can't be half-assed doing stuff. And not even because the inspection, com inspection coming up. You need to be doing it regardless. But anyways, we know how the food um sector roll. <laughs> Further, the inspector said... Observe no soap in the here we go with this damn no soap. I think last time they didn't had no paper towels or something. Well, all was going on in the world today, especially with Ronisha. We're gonna call her that Ronisha still roaming the streets. No, she hasn't packed up and left us, she's still here. People, <laughs> we need cleaning supplies. Especially at restaurants, we need some water and some soap to kill some germs. And if you got hand sanitizer, put that on too. But it says, observe no soap in the employee handing wash sink on cook line. Now, he know he needs some hand, because you messing with my foot. <sighs> okay, calm down, calm down. Observed no soap in employee handing wash sink. On cook line and in bar. Now, out of all the sinks that is in the restaurant, the one by the cook and the bar always needs to be supplied with napkins and some soap. Okay? 
because they are preparing the food or preparing the drinks. But you know what? Wasn't Todd the one time he didn't want to get a generator or something? I forgot what it was. I think it was for the OLG or was it for, um, black? no, I think it was for OLG restaurant. How he didn't want to get some because he don't want, he want to cut costs. Like, <sighs> okay. Then another notation was observed fish and seafood being thawed out in both prep sinks. Per PIC, they did not have a designated vegetable prep sink. Despite the issues, okay, the inspector signed off on blades passing with most flying colors. As Radar Online first reported, the last grade blades had received was a B back in July of last year. Before that, it was a C. And that was back in May of 2021. But at the end of the day, Ken, I'm glad you got your ish together. <clears throat> you coming on up. You coming on up. So let's stay at this A, okay? And you need to handle those other notations about putting soap where the employee's working at. That's handling the food, carrying the food, making the drinks. You need to handle that. Todd, you know, because Ken got a lot of stuff going. Todd, handle that. Handle that. Damn. Anyways, y'all make sure y'all tell me what y'all think about this in the comment section below. As well as, have you ever, if you in Atlanta, have you ever been to OLG um, restaurant or Blaze? Let me know, and I'll see you on the next one.